Do you know what? It's just so beautiful here. Look how, look how lovely the sea I looks. Just let put the charger on. It might not last because what I find with these chargers is that you don't like the long lead. I've got to go across country a bit here to get pick up another path to get up on that ridge there. Do you know what? I just feel so blessed when I know I can come out here like this. I just feel so fortunate to be able to stand here like this and breathe in this beautiful air. Look at that big river. Because that is like I was just saying before the battery went. At least is the River Severn, the River Brew, the River Brownwell, the River Parrot, the River Axe. Um, what's the other ones? And there's some, something else as well. Other rivers that join in. Um, you know, it's just a, a big Bristol Channel comes from the Atlantic. But all the rivers pour into here off the hills. And it should be one big muddy churny place. And it can be. Especially at Western Supermare, it's known for the mud and Burnham. Where they're like more like estuaries really, where the rivers come in. And thick banks of mud. That's why they used to have brickworks that were in Bridgewater, because of all the mud they used to make the bricks. You know, I just feel so... Oh, I don't know, I can't explain it really. Fortunate and lucky to have... Although, I, like I said, a chest infection. But to be able to walk here... I've just seen somebody up there, so I'm just gone out of view for a minute. Um, to be able to walk here in this beauty spot and, 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 and to... To, to be embraced by it and it's rescued me over the years when I've had traumas, anxiety um, and, and joy it isn't always about the miserable stuff <laughs> I'm not really that miserable I come here and it lifts me so much and it always has and when I found this place I just thought this is where I need to be walking and so it was on my number one list today. Although I could have gone straight over to Hutton, gone and done a, a walk by the River Axe to Bleeden, then possibly either get a bus at Hutton or Bleeden, or walk over to Pern Hill and pick up a bus at the hospital. Because the reason I talk about buses is I'm not always keen on that last hike. It's like the last mile of the London Marathon when you just never seem to get there. I mean, I've done the London Marathon three times so I know what I'm talking about. That last stretch going into Western, you either got to go up the beach. I don't mind walking out that way, believe it or not. But coming back after you've had a big hike, say, and you've got that stretch to do. God, you know, it can be monotonous going along the road but and even the beach can get a bit like it. But this little picnic spot here, many a person sat here quietly eating their pet lunch on a summer's day when the sun comes around or the evening and just enjoyed this place. You get fishermen out here usually when the tide goes out a bit or when it's just coming in. They come down to catch the fish and the eels. And over there you've got Cardiff with the Millennium Dome somewhere over there. <coughs> I attended Cardiff University as a postgraduate doing a doctorate for a while. Um, it was the first time in my whole education that I had to find the money. Even though the hospitals had paid for my, my MS, my Masters. Um, I'd, I'd left the hospital by then, so um, it, it didn't seem I could really ask them for help. But the thing is, I'll tell you what happened was, after doing the Masters and uh, got other lots of studies I'd done, I just wanted to do my tree more than anything else. I didn't want to do any more studying. 
I'd left nursing and I don't know, I just felt, no, go and do something you really want to do now. And that's why I was thinking they do a lot of courses at Cambridge University in archaeology and history and stuff. I'd have to pay, I know I would, but I'd love to do a course with them. I'd love to do a course, especially Clare, Clare College. I'd love to be able to do that. I'm going to look into it. I'm going to look into it. I've been there, I've visited the Clare College and the other colleges where many of my ancestors attended Cambridge University, don't forget. Quite a lot of them. And uh, I feel attached to Cambridge. You know, we've got family history there. So like I said, I did all my studying. I'm glad I did it and I enjoyed it all. When I was doing my masters, I was passionate about it. I thought there was a lot, there's a lot of meat in my work. And I always say to people, do you know what? The real answers are in the tapes, in the interviews, which we made private and I just used them to identify themes. But really, those, those interviews tell a lot about what was going on in nursing then, I'll tell you. Um, they tell you a lot. I interviewed lots of people. I interviewed lots of nurses that were participating in the study. And preparation work, when I was doing, before I started the Masters, I was doing preparation work, interviewing, learning the techniques. <sighs> Talking to other researchers. I was very dedicated. I, I wasn't really... I don't think they took me seriously at work, because I was a bit of a... I used to like to... Not have a joke, but I used to have, try to enjoy my work, you know? This was... Uh, very difficult at times, but um, I trod on a few toes, and not, not only that, I there was a lot of people with huge chips on their shoulder there. Um, it was difficult. I'm not going into details, but uh, I suppose not having the total support to go on to consolidate the work I'd done in the form of a doctorate. I just really, something else was pulling me and it was family tree. I dedicated six months in Cambridgeshire after I sold my house. I didn't want to leave there. I know, I didn't want to leave there because I always just found the Stuttville's. But I just had two grandchildren born in 2006. I missed my family. It was a long way. It's a long way from Somerset to Cambridge. You can't just... Even a weekend, you can't. You'd be travelling all the time. But you know what's weird? I came back and I... I we, we, we lost contact really, my, me and my, my family. Big time. I just well have stayed up there. Put it that way. But I'm glad I haven't, because look at this. Look at this beauty, everyone. I've got the, I feel Somerset, though I feel East Anglian in my roots. I am Somerset. Really, I am. You can see the suspension bridges over there by the naked eye. Look how beautiful the sea looks. Hobbit land before me as well, look. One day I, I will explore this. I have been down there. I have been down on that beach. It's very interesting, the geology. I just feel so, like I said, so lucky to be able to enjoy this place. It's peace. The monks used to be here from the Abbey. They knew about this place. All these humps and bumps. They're, they are of significance. 
See sumps and bumps, they could have been much bigger. Could have even been a fort. And it might be, I don't know all the history. This could have been an Iron Age fort here. Look at the views. And they could have got out in the sea to fish. Yeah, there's a lot we don't know. It was kept isolated from the public for years. When the MOD had it and they practiced in different weaponry out there. Yeah. You can see evidence of it on the beaches and apparently you still got to be wary when you're down there. Sharp objects and maybe unexploded. Like I told you, I found those torpedoes. So, you know, I know about it. So, what I, what I, how we got onto all this is because of the fact that when it was the weather was bad and in the winter I tend to catch up a lot on tree. But what I found as I'm getting older unlike before, is that my energy levels are not like they were. And I start to tire by about eight in the evening. Whereas I used to be up all night sometimes when I got on a lead. I wouldn't stop, you know, but now I say, no, it's another day. And of course I've got loads of half tied ends. I'll go back to that, I'll go back to that. And of course I'm not just doing, I'm doing a tree for my kids and I'm doing their father's side. So I've done quite a lot for Jodie Duncan, Georgia, for their dad's side and for Zara on her dad's side. They've got the same mother of course, that's me. Looks like we're going to go over this cliff edge here, doesn't it? There's often someone picnicking. When you come here, you look down at someone having a sandwich. So this is a common place for people to picnic here. There's, there's the Priory. Look. Beautiful, isn't it? I love that place as well. The big old barn. Like I said, one day I will get in the tower. They do open it apparently. And they, but you can make an appointment. I will do it. I need to do it. There's so much I need to do, folks. <sighs> Saw two people in the distance there, but I haven't seen hardly anyone. There was a man with a stick, but he could have been the man I know with with the Spaniels. He's usually out here about now, and I think that might have been him going that way. But look at this view, everyone. So gorgeous. I just feel, I just feel so at peace when I'm here. Even though I might have to go back to a polluted environment. While I'm here, I'm breathing in all that pure air. And the, oh, I just, just love it here. And I remember all the people that were in my life once. When I'm in places like this. My mum. My dad. My friends that have gone. My sister Jude. I don't know if she ever walked here. I know she did down there, but I don't know if she actually got up here. She should have done. And I wish my children so much peace and happiness, really. Georgia. Over there on the Quantock Hills. I can see snow on the hills. If I zoom in over there, towards Cardiff, you might just see a type of snow I don't know if I zoom in there in the background some white and that snow might not come out it's there can't see sugar. I can see Sugarloaf Mountain with the naked eye but yeah I remember. I'd wish peace on all my kids even if I don't see them very often now, and I don't, something drastically needs to reunite us. It didn't help when I lost my vehicle, and I used to make an effort to go around and visit everybody. It's so complicated now. Half the trains are on strike and the buses don't always work. 
we don't all live close. I've got Zara lives in the same building, so obviously I see her. And I keep in touch on Facebook. Especially Georgia keeps in touch with me. Georgia does. Joni and Duncan. Duncan hardly ever. But then I don't think he does with anybody, so... Yeah. But this is my place. And I haven't really come here with anyone much because I could do. But you know what? I just love it. I am a hermit as well. I don't mind it. I'm not bothered on my own. There are times I think I feel more lonely when I have to go into a group with others and they're all got their families with them. Like when I go camping or something and there's big bunches of people having a barbecue and I think sometimes you feel a bit left out, even though you don't really want to be in that group. It can make you feel like this person on the fringe, you know. Right, I'm going to turn off, take a picture. Lovely bit of geology here. <laughs>